So we open with Courtney saying that Ralph was hurt about the affair and the lying. She believes Drew had the affair and has been projecting on Ralph and his Floridian secrets. Do you have any secrets, Bronx? Do you have any New York secrets? Drew said, Courtney don't know nothing about me. We just met. I'm going to say this one time. Don't you ever speak on my son. Or what? Or what? I will speak and you will listen, honey. Drew, ain't nobody listening to your lies. I don't know, Drew. I'd be real cautious about calling out Courtney for this gay relationship so your man can pay the bills because it seems like that's where your life is headed. Courtney said, I said it multiple times. I wanted to make sure they got that on film. We are done. We are done. So Andy says, did you visit Ty in Texas? Yes, I went to her game. You ain't that into basketball, but, but you are into what hangs out in basketball shorts. So Ralph has the evidence about the affair, and that's why he filed for divorce. Or didn't she file first? Candy, what do you know about the tie rumors and relationship? Marlo did not call Sheree mumbles, but Sheree has heard that there had been some hard tonguing and heavy breathing. Somebody dropped off pictures at the chateau, Girl, nobody was going to risk black mold for that. You ran and got them. So now Sheree pulls out all these private text messages that Drew won't confirm or deny are from her. Drew going to say, my DMs are popping. Girl, boom. Now Ralph did beat the IRS. What does this have to do with that? Okay, we breaking for lunch because you know candy ready to eat. So now Marlo Amos and Sheree are meeting in the dressing room. Marlo wants to subscribe to Sheree's newsletter. Girl, now they trying to compare she by sheen to Candy's crap. Oh, God, Courtney go over to hype up Ralph. Them two gonna get married. They might be kissing cousins. Oh! Courtney was about to shut the door on the sister. She said, don't you shut that door on me. She's ready to box. Courtney called her a B. She said, but you don't use that word, though. Oh, she hyped. <laughs> Courtney said, Drew has a problem. She's a compulsive liar. She is. Oh, God. A whole segment of the flirt and squirt. Let's keep it on mute. Best fiend. Okay, we get a question. Why is Kenya eating booty a big deal? Because she's eating straight men's booty, and they don't wipe. Gay men will starve themselves and have a whole line of products to clean ourselves up and out. That's taken quite a gamble. Uh-huh. Sheree said, so what's the freakiest thing you've done, Candy? <laughs> Candy said, well, what would you consider an orgy? How many people? Now, you got to stop that. We are black. We don't do that. He's young, but he'll learn. Oh, God. Sonia, best fiends. We, she could have been with the friends of who are no longer with us. Dang. Sonia said Kenya wasn't there for her during her medical emergency. Mm. Well, we've always said Kenya was selfish. Oh, Kenya's gonna adopt. That's cool. She said, I'm gonna get a half-baked one. I wanted to walk and talk already. I don't need it from scratch, baby. So Kenya feels that Sanya's on Marlo's team, and you are. You got hypnotized by the fancy clothes and the deep voice. Marlo is a stunning woman. All the Amos girls are. The look he is giving me. Oh, I'm doing my Marlo Amos voice. Bronx. Bronx, it's Marlo Amos, and she's talking to you. You're white, shit like you. Marlo loves white men. So we do have Sanya on camera. Checking Marlo Amos once. Oh, God, we got Drew singing. Not to Ralph. Oh, this is awkward, boo. But good on Sanya for calling out Kenya on her showman's friendships. Oh, God, somebody asked Candy to step down or take a break. I mean, no, just put her on pause. She's boring. Candy has shown us a pregnancy, surrogacy, losing a fiancé, and getting married. She has shown us more than business. I had Heifer Joyce come on and embarrass me, for Christ's sake. Oh, Lord, Kenya, this underboob looks painful. I've never seen something look so squashed, but also look like it's about to fall out. Candy said, well, Sheree, you're the queen of taking breaks. Well, they always have to ask me back. I mean, yeah, the bone carry. And they ask you back because you're cheap. They get you for pennies on the dollar. 
Oh, God, now we gotta talk about Marlo Amos' dead nephew. I don't care. I'm sorry the man passed, but I, I don't I don't want to relive this. My nephew's dead! If I was the mama, I'd slap the shit out of you. Candy said you were more concerned about cameo than caskets. So Candy's like, Marlo, why am I the only one that needs to be checked and held accountable and everybody's got to not watch their word choice with me? Candy said, you're jealous of how things go well for me, and I can see it. Now Drew pipes up, Marlo says, worry about your marriage. Uh huh. Drew said, get a husband, get your wife. You've got a Birkin and memories. Oh, God. And a chairlift. For that kooka, boop, 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 doo, doo, kooka. Oh, God, now Sanya's piping up. Sanya, don't be peacemaker. You don't, we don't need your moment. Candy's right. You two shouldn't be arguing about Marlo Reynolds. All right, so we brought out Ralph. Oh, God, so Drew has Andy hand Ralph a peach because he wants one. Well, he don't want your peach or your pit. Drew gonna say, I don't know why you're here. Have your moment. And he said, well, we invited him. He's a part of the show. Y'all haven't told the kids you separated playing with your partnership for a plot line. So Drew won't talk about infidelity. He says he was faithful. I don't believe it. I think y'all was cheating on each other. Child, I can't tell what's real and what's the past. Ooh. Drew said, I've been faithful the entire marriage. What about Ty? A little click and clack, a little flirt and squirt and never hurt nobody. Child, just give Ralph a pass. Child, Drew a method actress, and the method is poor. Don't sit here and play in my face. This is an opportunity for you to present yourself differently. Drew, you've been playing in our face for three years. We're sick of it. So before you start talking about face playing, put your own toys away. You've always chosen other women over me. You've let me be embarrassed time and time again. You're embarrassing. Have you seen how you dress? You quit therapy because the doctor was holding you accountable. I don't know what he was holding you accountable for because if it was things you told him, they could have been lies. So Ralph says, well, your sister told me that she was having the affair with Ty. I believe that messy sissy said it. Candy said, well, yeah, your sister was one around telling everybody your business. Okay, so now Drew just whips out her phone and there's some phone number for apparently from a woman asking Ralph for the dick. He's saying that picture is a catfish and he's never messaged that person. Something seems fishy. So Ralph said she's got the same message. I, I don't know if I'm buying this. Why would both of your phones get the same message? Okay, so Ralph did go to Vegas to audition to pop his puss. He's gonna get a shekel for his schlong, a penny for his penis, a bill for his pussy. Oh God, Ralph, you were going to Vegas for a work trip, but you don't work, Tommy. Oh God, Drew, my insecurities have been coming up. You shouldn't be insecure if you already know he's an ass and you're gonna stay with him. Stop whining about the Floridian secrets. Oh Jesus, now she's gonna start with these fake tears. You're not that good of an actress. Oh God, Drew said, you just told me you were getting blowjobs around the world and now he's downplaying it. I'm sorry, both of you have a sorry script. I gave you all my 30s. Well, keep your 40s to yourself. He said, Drew, you're acting right now and you are and is. Marlo said, you left your purse. And he said, why didn't you run after your wife? Cause he don't care. Cause she acting and seen. Kenya sure loved to spout off about her little 10 minutes as a wife. I wouldn't mention it. You always, a wife wants, a wife wants. All you've wanted was a divorce ever since you got married. Aha! Uh -huh. He said, how long were you married? Two years, two minutes, two minutes. How long y'all lived together? That man never even moved in. Heffa, please, stop talking about oh, as a wife, as a wife. You're a wife by a technicality and a paycheck. Now you're gonna discount my feelings, my experience? Uh, they've been together for like 13 years, so there is a level of buildup that you've never experienced because you've never kept a man more than 10 minutes. Oh God, Drew gone Catterwall, I don't care. She's got a single out, throw us away. Throw all the cast away, throw Roa away. New heifers, your stories are stale. My mouth is dry talking about you. Oh God.
This is awful. This is aw This is the worst season ever. We're ending it where she's singing this song to him, cussing him out. You've been playing gay off key on the record. Throw you away. Throw the whole. This is piss poor. Oh my, it's so piss poor, I can smell it through the screen. You can see Sheree's just kind of bobbing her head. She likes the beat. Ooh, Andy's like, they gonna clap for that shit. You need your ass whooped. Oh God, so now Ralph's leaving and I guess this was the shit. This was the shittiest season. This was stupid. Off key. Singing the breakup song to Ralph, it was, um, piss poor production. It was awkward, it was trifling, and worst of all, it was off key. But a tired vocal from a trifling woman. Oh God, Sheree gonna end this on a healing note. You heifers don't need to heal, you need to be amputated. Sheree gonna say, I'm not giving up on you guys and it's not over. Yes it is, cancel, cancel, cancel. That was a piece of shit season, Andy Cohen, fuck you. Yeah, we've already seen the pass on Peacock. Part two's up if you need to peep at it.